Welcome back. The game number one of TNC versus Fnatic. <laughs> oh my god, the blame games that already happened without those percentages that would come out of that would be uh, interesting. Ooh, Arrow, that hits 50%. One for two, the uh, AA is high, and you know, that's very high. Charge all the way over onto the Earth Spirit. Bevy now in between both these heroes, a roll and then a charged up stun, but they'll still get the kill on the jabs. They'll try to focus their attention on a Masaros who's he gets walking the, the other way. He's dead. Plus the slow from Orb of Phenom. Febby, another charge in a second. Doesn't Not going to go tower. for it. Moon will get stopped at the power rune area. Looking to grab that four minute rune. Leap and grabbed. That's by the Marana. So now Jabs will. He rolled in and he's most likely dead. But the tornado! Ooh, Jabs does end up dead to Armel. Oh, Moon and gets Bash. Bash is coming in. Moon needs to be very careful. Oh, Another that, that, he's dead. Be, there's the charge and the kill. And he even TP'd out. I'm, I'm surprised he decided to TP out there. Line up. Yeah, yeah, so it's not a carry alchemist. A big difference. Wait, what? He's actually going into Battle Druid. That's what he has queued up. Interesting charge coming through all the way on to Moon. They're going to TP a few over. Arrow hits and Moon. He might just fall again, but he's got a lot of charges on that wand to survive. And Armel's the one dead instead. Moon's still trying to make it out. DJ is low here too. Tornado doesn't hit, but they still get Febby. And two of these heroes sit so low on Fnatic. We'll see, uh, I also, I'm wondering if we, we don't see many of these core brewmasters, but hold that thought. Tornado in, arm out. Four heroes just sitting in the jungle trying to make something happen. And while Armel, he's pretty tanky, he's on the run, the arrow doesn't hit on the moon, but the Star Storm comes through, they get the, the first jabs, and there's the primal split, they're gonna look over for moon. He gets invis with the ghost lock, cyclone into the air, there's the second DJ gone, KP gets one, Tims gets the other. This is their win condition, they need Phantom Lancer to become big in this game, become unkillable. Yasha, charge the Fusil Blade. Coming around the back, Tornado, just before the charge hits, and that's gonna keep him from getting hit by the arrow, KP, low on mana and health. Looks like he'll fall to the Magnetize. They do end up getting the kill on the moon, but here comes Raven. Stun thrown onto Febby. Moonlight Shadow, and Febby is not away. The Magnetize finishes him off, but they kill off Masaros. So it's a two for two right now. Jab spotted, roll. Ooh. Might have hit onto Tim's, which could have killed him as the Magnetize is still ringing, but eventually ends, and so does Jab's life. So he's the one who's suffering. Raven might suffer in a second. KP nearby, and they spot DJ. They've got the Moonlight Shadow. Actually, Masaros might be in a lot of trouble as well. DJ, he goes down very quickly. They'll look at Masaros. They should have him sealed and killed. As Moon now on the run, and so is Jab. On some pressure every single time. Marana Alti is up, uh, go in. Marana spotted, chase, charge. It's the Phantom Lancer. It's actually going all the way to Jabs. The Tornado misses, but there is the Frostbite into the freezing field. Debbie caught in a bad spot. Turns into the Invoker and throws a Tornado EMP. DJ all of a sudden in some trouble, but they've got the roll. They have the Geomagnetic Grip. He morphs into the strength, surviving for now. Febby on the run. He's still alive after all is said and done. And oh, Morphin is done. Fall. His mana is burned. Gabby hit by that roll and taken out by Raven. Armel is in and he's all alone. This is a problem inside the ice wall. They're keeping themselves at the front of this bristle. He's got no mana to work with. Tornado into the air. Armel eventually, he's gone to. Uh, these kills. are the type of fights that Fnatic wants to have. Prolonged team fights, reset multiple times, go in with the Earth Spirit. We'll see if that pays off. Wants to be able to scale. You know, they, they don't get too much farm. Armel getting caught. Cinder Brew gets the primal split off just before the tornado EMP comes in. They've got the cyclone onto the invoker. They've caught him with the stun from the Earth Panda. It will run down Moon, but do they get the kill? There is a sentry down if Moon wants to go into the ghost walk, but it's on cooldown at the moment. So Arrow comes in from Tim's and will get the finishing blow. They kill off this invoker and a great fight. There from TNC. I know it only gets them the kill on the Invoker, but anything to slow down the Invoker is quite nice. You've got the Ags picked up by Gabby. That means the charge. Oh my god! He's almost as fast as the roll! They're going to come through on the jabs, get the kill, looking at Raven next, who is draining the mana from Gabby, but instead they'll go after DJ, the ult from Febby used on to this Crystal Maiden, and Gabby with a double kill. They don't necessarily need to rush things. If they could get a possibly a pick off, turn that into Roche. 
who will respawn in 40 seconds. They already have a courier, actually two couriers inside a bit. They're going after the brew. They've got the magnetize as well as the silence, and they'll get this kill on a KP. They'll end up losing DJ. BKB's been popped by KP. Goes after jabs for a second. Moon trying to get into the high ground. Magnetize still rolling. Tornado hits onto the Morphling as well as Febby, the original copy of this Spirit Breaker. They'll buy back on DJ. They're really trying to make something out of potentially nothing as Raven continues to walk forward. Might even catch himself in a bad spot if he goes near those stairs, and they did buy back on DJ. Maybe even two to be able to deal the damage. Invoker also very limited on that damage. He's more about to control. Going through with the charge. Mules up into the air, roll away. BKB's been popped by Gabby going after DJ. They'll get the kill to the Crystal Maiden for 70 seconds. Follow that up with the kill on a moon. He's gone, but has buyback. Masaro stunned on the run, trying to get back into the base. They'll buy back on Moon. See how he can help as he goes into the Ghost Walk. Has Cold Snap available. Arrow almost coming through and hitting, but all for right now, Fnatic are just spectators to this onslaught onto the Tier 3 Tower top. They're trying to do some damage here onto Armel, but it just doesn't feel like enough, and eventually he'll just pop the Chiefs. Pretty much unkillable. Has no mana whatsoever, so maybe that's the play they want to do. Try to burn mana with the EMP. Well, the real Phantom Lancer, please stand up. They're actually going to charge and put their attention here on to the Alchemist, who charges up a stun and stops Gabby in his tracks for a second, but second stun? Second charge? It's almost as good as second dinner. <laughs> they don't want to risk anything. Charge all the way through, Moon! Trying to blink away, but still dead all the way behind the Ancient. They're going to focus their attention on a DJ freezing field. More just like a chill in the wind. Yes, sir. I believe this game is uh, officially over. Fnatic, uh, they have one set of barracks left on the bottom. Tier 3 in the bottom set of racks. Just trying to seal the deal here. Fnatic holding on as best they can with the Geomagnetic Grip coming through as well as the Sun onto the Brewmaster. Raven focuses his attention onto the brew, but I don't know if this is going to be enough. He does have the Primal Split available, goes to the Thunderclap. Oh, actually, he doesn't have it available. It's lit up, but there are zero charges. They get the kill on a Masaro, so he just needs a couple seconds longer. There's the Primal Split, but with the Primal Split, the GG call comes through, and Fnatic will lose game one to TNC. TNC yeah, they, played they perfect. They tried something. They tried this offlane alchemist. Once again, very unconventional. This matchup is certainly delivering on the creative drafts and the gameplay. Which that combined with the fact that, you know, you are low level on the Enigma 2 is a bit of a problem. Febby committing for this. He's under the tower in some trouble. DJ comes around. So does oh, Jazz. Oh, level 2 spirit breaker. Oh, can they get him? Shuriken toss. In the trees. Salve? Oh, he okay. used Salve. Like, he tried to go yeah. for a sneaky one, you know. Done on Rage King, some cheap damage, more slow. Uh, going into hand of Midas. Tornado misses, but they do have the EMP. Raven will use that shapeshift. DJ coming over. And, well, it's looking like KP will fall here. Shuriken toss and a right click from Raven. Moon scouting him out. Mana burn is there. Yeah, looking to get the kill on the Wraith King while over top, Armel comes in. Raven chasing Tornado, missing on the KP over in the bottom lane. Armel dancing around the tower. Timber Chain comes across. Spirit Breaker's right here. Masaro's now eating this viscous nasal goo. Can they get the kill on the KP? DJ coming over. Dust is used. That'll send him back while over top again. Masaro's goes to the Timber Chain. They have stolen Timber Chain. They're right on top of the Timber Saw, who gets oh, hit by Telekinesis right before he Timber Chains away. Might is done. Just needs to use the Courier. No, it, it's paying off. Like, right, oh, like this should be black, black hole. hole. Didn't get the morph off. Yeah, dead very quickly. Ulti used, just not in time. And, well, that's going to be Febby giving up a second. So, a quick 1-2 gut punch from Fnatic. Now taking a 1k lead. So, a lot of damage. They need to be careful about that one. But if they can just keep slowing down them. Oh, black just hole. solo black hole. Yeah, again on to Armel. And they'll get the kill. And they don't need this to be a showstopper black hole track this okay it's a level one track but still you want to get some hope oh there's black the black hole, hole on the morphling did he get the shift off in he time did. he did will he survive waveform out track on a masaros charge coming in with the bkb being popped by jabs they've got the tracks going back and forth charge on the 
or from Gabby, but it's into the ice wall. Look how slow he is. They'll eventually get this going to Jabs. That's going to be a track kill for them. Shuriken bouncing around with the whirling death. A lot of damage on the Gabby, but they get kill on a DJ. Oh, Bebby, charge. Oh, gets away. Telekinesis. Timber Chain does eventually hit on a Febby, and Gabby goes down to Moon. They are starting to lose heroes, and it might be time to call it retreat for TNC. Wait, how did, but, how did Gabby oh, die? They're going to go through and get Tim's. Raven's here. He's used that shapeshift. KP doesn't have reincarnate. Well, he doesn't have a life. He's getting run down here. No chance he gets out. It's much better that he does not have reincarnation there. They, they needed to bail, you know. Decipher the drawings of Wepos with the... Uh, Cursor going around the Forge Spirits. Radiant are scanning. So let's see. 14k lead, but definitely feeling potentially doable. Oh, KP, Dust. On a moon, Telkinesis, that hits. They've got the track onto the Bounty Hunter. More track gold for them. And it's track and leave. You need to get out of here and bail, but there's the shapeshift as well as the silence. Febby just gets obliterated now they're on to armel can they stay on the bristle and get this kill tornado emp with the midnight pulse bkb as well as the black hole comes down gabby turns into the timber saw think about going in on this but the bkb still going for jabs they don't get the kill on armel just yet the deafening blast there's the mantis still disarmed chakram black hole stolen and it's on to masaros again they get that kill on a Raven. Gabby gets the kill there. Timber Chain onto the high ground. They're still controlling Masaros, but is it going to be enough to get the kill? Whirling, dealing. Can they get it? Oh, Tim survives because the Timber Chain misses. Masaros is gone, and like that, TNC. Oh, that that's a perfect one. You know, run, 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 run. Then he turns into <laughs> into Timber Saw and uses it against him. Mike is going for some crazy item build, which I really like. You know, getting that Scotty, slow down Bristleback. Uh, uh, great against the Morphling that reduces the regeneration. Track, Tim's in trouble, but there's the charge. BKB popped by Jabs. Now the charge coming out from Gabby. He's going to stop right in front of Jabs. They'll get the kill on the Tim's, but they'll trade Jabs. Tim's is like, guys, how did you let me die there? He, he got cold snapped and just attacked by two Ford Spirits. <laughs> Tornado, EMP, they oh, need to be careful, risky. no matter. Sunstrike. Oh, the Wolves are in. They pick up the Aegis in time. They get it on the Gabby, but the Deafening Blast hits on a three as well as the Ice Wall being down. They're going to bring in the Forge Spirits. They'll get the kill here on the KP. He's got they Reincarnation, but look at this. He's so slow in the Ice Wall, but he's got the Axe. He'll survive for a little bit longer. Eventually, well, that life will be depleted. Oh, he'll get those Forge Spirits before he dies. Value. Charge? Nope. Not landing. And they'll get the outpost in these time. These are track kills. Like, all yeah. of these are track kills, so they're getting a lot of gold from that. Charge coming through onto DJ. That's coming out from Gabby. Will charge. Hit all three heroes. Uh-oh. Now the wave for him as well as the kill on a moon. Well, they took it out done. so fast. They're looking for the charge coming out from Febby. DJ, charge, charge. Here they come like cars, too. DJ getting low, trying to get out of this one, but the ulti comes out from Febby. Using that nether strike will get the kill on a DJ. Oh, They're looking for the TP out, one. but there's the telekinesis coming through run, into Masaros. Run, 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 run. can get out of that one. So, yeah, great initiation oh. from Gabby. Chuck from on Roche. Can they make a move? DJ over, track tornado. That'll hit with the ice wand. That's just Aegis, Cheese Refresher, all going to Fnatic pretty much for free. Abyssal Blade, though, they'll use that Shapeshift Bash as he's shapeshifting. Now they'll focus their attention here on the Gabby. They're bringing DJ as well as Raven over. KP trying to help out. Febby up in the front lines as he gets silenced with the Chakram. And now KP comes in with the Wraithfire Blast. Raven still moving in. They got the kill on the Gabby. It's just a, or Febby. It's just a matter of time until he dies. Black Hole used on Armel. And they'll pop the Lincolns, but I don't think Tim stole it. He's got Chakram. That's it. Links away. I, they, get, they get the kill into the Bristle. He doesn't have buyback. So let's see. Heart for the Morphling. They're coming up onto the high ground. Armel spotting this Timber Chain across with the track through onto the Bristle back. Gabby's on the high ground. Wave form down to the low ground. They get the kill into DJ immediately, and he's going to buy back. Wicked Six Spree they here for the Gabby, Lincolns. but and Enigma Febby, can't go in. He's gone. Already popped the BKB on the Enigma. It might be time for Fnatic to get out, knowing that Enigma can't really do anything without the BKB. They get the kill on a Febby. He finally falls. He'll buy back. And now with the BKB pop by Gabby going after the Enigma. Pops the Lincolns. Jabs now. Needs to be very careful. Coming over. Uh, black, hole. black hole. Uh-oh. This is a problem. And Cataclysm comes down. Tim's telekinesis up into the air. 
And he's only got Chakram. He's tracked up in some trouble. They'll get the kill here on the KP as well as Tim's. And they'll look over at Armel. But Raven getting low, charged up, bashed up, in some trouble. Loses the Aegis, but the Whirling Death. Oh, start from the Centaur! They'll get a kill here on a Febby. He bought back. He's going to be gone for 88 seconds. They've There's got KP the with buyback, but the Bash is coming through an arm out with the BKB being popped here as well as the track on him. So he's trying to run away, but all five heroes are around him from the side of Fnatic, and they'll get the kill. Triple for Masaros. Armel is gone again without buyback. Man, that's Centaur. Agent Centaur playing for Fnatic. And just picked up for Moon. Waveform over to the side. Lincoln's popped on multiple heroes. Gabby. Still here as the Timber, and you've stolen Alacrity. That's, oh, that's big. That's really, really good big one. On Morphling. They just need these other heroes. With no bristle. There's the Alacrity the on the Gabby. They're going to go with the Waveform. Can they get the damage out of the Raven with the Tokenesis? They've got themselves the Reincarnation. That's going to pop with the Deafening Blast coming out with the BKB. Black pop Gabby. They're looking with the Black Hole. It's going to hit. No, it's not. It's only on the KP. Look at the kill on the Raven King. They look over the charge. It's on the DJ. Masaro still front running on this one. And then again, Rubik does not steal that Black Hole. They've got the Ice Wall down on top of Gabby, and that's making it so he can barely move Gabby's his spell. Gabby's out of mana. He has buyback, though, but uh, someone's dropping the Power Treads, bringing some mangoes. Gabby microing his hero nicely, but still, Barracks will go down. Getting a Bloodthorn, getting a Heart, a little bit more survivability. Ooh, Abyssal Blade comes through, and now they're going to look over the Morphling. He's so he didn't much get what? the shift off. Like, he has uh, a lot of HP, percentage base uh, Maybe now damage. trying to run. He's gone. Rips him apart. 60 seconds, he's got no buyback. Morphling does, probably going to be forced to use it. Tornado did the air, Armel now tracked up. Timber Chain comes across as well as the Whirling Death. They look over as the BKB's been popped by Armel. They've got the house stolen, so they're going to try and keep Armel alive. And so he'll use that Abyss Blade. Right Click's coming in a Raven, as well as the Right Click's coming through from this Wraith Team. But the Deafening Blast is the Minotaur Horn is getting popped. Ooh, Armel, he's gone. This is a problem. They'll go after Tim's. The buyback's pretty late here from Gabby, as Masaro's still just front running. They've got these. Heroes just dropping after the Wraith King's Axe falls apart on them. They have buyback available on the Bristle as KP still hitting away on Masaros, but it's the Timbersaw who doesn't feel like he's ever going to die in this game anymore. Reincarnation, that gets popped once again. Masaros just standing forward as the rest of the team takes these buildings. And while Masaros really doesn't care about this tickling damage that's coming out from TNC, they've got the Midnight Pulse down as well as the track coming through. KP dusts them up. Timber Chain coming out available. from Gabby. They're looking for the Black Hole. This might come in. The Lincoln gets popped. And now the Timber Chain over. They look over Gabby as Raven and Masaros if are trying to deal with this. Game's uh -oh. over. He Armel, out. he's gone. Fnatic, they'll end up losing DJ as well as Raven. They have buyback available on the Lycan. There's the Black Hole coming through onto the Morphling. There's the Cataclysm right on top, and the Meteor dropped down on him. He's gone. He's only just the second life, thanks to the Wraith King Ags. And eventually, he'll die for two minutes. 125 seconds on the sideline. They'll look over at Febby. They'll get a kill. It's a full team wipe in favor of Fnatic, and they will split the first two. It's one apiece, and we were going to another game three. Both of these teams <laughs> need a carry, need a position yeah. one, yeah. and all of them are banned out. For the final game of the series, TNC versus Fnatic game number three. Leveling up that boar, because it'll just get turned into Eidolons. Fortune's end, Armel moving forward, lands the stun. This could be first blood. Moon trying to get away. Febby purifying flames, Armel with the first blood on Moon. Stay in the lane, play against the Monkey King, so this... Uh, is some really nice stuff that he's doing right now, manipulating the creep wave. Move, Gabby. he's in. Getting chased, Masaros. He doesn't have the crippling fear, but I'm not sure that's going to matter. Balance Strike comes in. He's under the tower. Ooh, mischief. Gabby, not going to survive, eventually falls to Masaros. And while that's happening, though, well, one positions go down across the map. Jabs, Jesus. But does have the Dark Ascension. He's on the tower. This is a bad spot for him to be in. Fortune's end, and now they should have the stun followed up by Armel and the kill. Balance Strike not even needed as Armel now dominating at 4 0 and up. Armel is all over the place. Bottom lane. Very active. KP throwing up the Primal Roar, but Moon and Raven are down here to get the kill on a KP. Four heroes are here. DJ is actually going to die to the boards. Maybe track. Black Hole, of course. Midnight Pulse. If he goes Ags again. I like the Void option. Okay, he's going Black to Hole, route. DJ is here. Uh-oh, this is a kill onto Gabby. It's not Gabby who gets the kill on the Jabs, but Jabs who gets the kill on the Gabby. And Jabs in trouble on bottom. There's the boots of travel from Lesh. Yeah, Armel should be able to get the kill lines of the stun. Pulse Nova, Armel getting the kill on the Jabs, but here comes Masaros. Look at the damage immediately onto this Lashrak. 
Duels into the air. Silence no longer there. He's trying to run Pulse Nova. Maybe looking for a stun. Raven right on him gets a crit. The stun hits afterwards. Oh KP no, you're not trying to out TP. Of this one. And well, no chance that's gonna happen is it'll be a second with the stifling dagger getting the kill on that one. So Raven with a couple of crits there. Like Storm comes in, Orchid, then you've got Night Stalker jumping in. Alright, goodbye trees. And Sentry goodbye Armel. Vortex comes in, Black Hole used, and that's a dead Lashrac. Primal Roar used in defense, and that's not going to make anything happen here. As they'll get oh, another crit from a dagger. Raven with the kill and a KP. They are just running down this TNC side. It is not looking likely that they're going to make it back. As if They're not stopping. They're actually yeah, going to dive tier 3s. Rubik, they want another kill. They'll get the kill on a Femi and Tim. Perfect kills. timing. Like Enigma goes in, uses Midnight Bolts. But yeah, yeah. Book of, Book of the Dead, Book of the Shadows. Oh, BKB pop my moon, not gonna get hit by the sun. Fortune's End comes out, they've got the Crippling Fear onto the Rubik, and this is the chase that we were talking about, though. Get this kill onto the Rubik, they already got the kill onto KP, they'll take out Febby. They should get more. And Moon's in with no mana left, so he needs to be careful. Wukong's command, Black Hole! Oh, Black Hole. Wukong's is gone, and now the Black Hole is out, and it's on a two! But it's just not gonna do enough as they lose Jabs and Moon, but can they still salvage the fight? Primal Roar comes in on the Phantom Assassin. Do they have the damage? Yeah, they do to kill off Raven. Oh, Ball all the way across. Oh, no, Moon. He's actually out of mana, but he does get the kill on Armel, and Masaros follows that up with one on the Tims, and it's just KP who is tracked. That's how many buybacks? One, two, three buybacks from TNC, one buyback from Fnatic. The timing like uh, Execration did to 496. Big zip, KP. Spotted again, he got saved flip. once. He's not gonna get saved twice. Fibby's not here this time to hold your hand, KP. And KP now in the grave. BKB finally picked up here for the Monkey King. Raven. He's gone, 30 seconds. Like, Raven wants to take this fight. He's scouting them out, so he knows. Oh my god, if uh, they get the zip. He needs to move off that tree. He's using the Battle Fury to cut the trees around him. Oh, the Midnight Pulse! They got him. Gabby, man, Gabby. First, he uses a Wukong's command, loses the courier, now dies again. He's zero five and four, and they will knock on your high ground. And he doesn't have a buyback. He bought that shard, and knowing that they were looking for him too, because Phantom Assassin's taking out trees. You know they have a way to quickly. You no, know, see how it's gonna go. Fifteen seconds. What they end up stealing? Track. Ball lightning in as well as the electric vortex coming through on our mail. They're going to go to the back lines looking for the silence out of the Rubik. They're getting the kill Double onto silence one. Support. Both supports are silence. Our mail's already dead. They'll buy back on the Rubik, but they don't have buyback available on those tracks. So he's gone for 80 seconds. Primal War is used on a moon. Do they have the control? They've got the telekinesis with the balance strike as well as the damage to get the kill. He's gone for two minutes, but he does have buyback. Phantom Assassin can't fight inside the Wukong's command, but they will buy back. Another buyback from Moon. It just came off cooldown. They want to end this game. Yeah, they get the kill on a Tim's. It's going to be 2v5 in this situation and looking very much like it's not happening for TNC here. Yeah, I believe that's game. They have uh, no buyback. There it is. Left track does not have uh, enough gold. So that uh, brings Fnatic to 6 and 1, which uh, gives them the first place in the groups. And uh, Neon is playing against T1. Tomorrow? Yeah, Neon is 5 1. So if uh, Neon loses to T1, that means uh, Fnatic is uh, going straight to the major.